Dismantle is the type of game that gets me so hooked that I forget I need to eat. So let's get into the review and find out why. The broad premise of this game is a post-apocalyptic open world survival game with a little bit of an RPG sprinkled on top. And while there is loads of this type of game, Dismantle manages to do what the other good games in the genre do and constantly just keeps you pushing to finish that one more thing on your to-do list. And this, my friends, is its genius. So the basic storyline is your character emerges from their doomsday bunker to find the world filled with zombies and in ruins. And their main goal is to try and get to the safe zone and try and find some survivors. Sounds simple. As you start your journey, you'll soon realize that everything can be broken down into materials. And these materials are what you need to upgrade your equipment. As you hit different points in the story, you'll come to realize that you need different, more advanced tools. And these different, more advanced tools require different, more rare materials. And this, my friends, is where I get hooked. For example, you need to upgrade your crowbar to break through that specific door. No problem, let me just grab the bits I need. Then you break through the door and you need to craft a shovel to dig up the key that's somewhere in the garden. No problem, I'll just grab the shovel stuff, bear with me. And then you need the next MacGuffin to repair the next thing in my bob. But you can't repair the thingamabob until you're level 10 and you see where I'm going with this. Now, this all sounds like I'm complaining. But let me assure you my friends, I am not. Because these type of games, when they're made well, are the exact type of ones that give me huge satisfaction when I grind through to the next level. And in fairness, Dismantle does a really good job of pacing the storyline along with your level and along with how you unlock stuff with the crafting. And as I played this game more and more, I realised just how much there is to do is insane. You'll find yourself fighting, gathering, crafting, levelling up, harvesting, hunting, building, farming, solving puzzles, fishing, cooking, and just living the survivalist stream. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that this is going to be everyone's favourite type of game, but for me I really loved it. For anyone who likes these type of games, you're going to enjoy it. It's got a real Project Zomboid vibe but it's got more of a storyline rather than just going around surviving. The colours are bright, the sounds are good, there's just so much to explore on every part of the map and there's no empty space. There's mysteries and puzzles to solve and it does it all in a really light-hearted manner. There is co-op but unfortunately I couldn't get anyone to play with me so feel sorry for me. But to be honest I enjoyed the single player so much that I didn't really miss it. All in all, I give this mantle a 9 out of 10. It's probably the best game you've never played. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Bye.